G'day and welcome back to Buildsome. In a previous video I talked about step footings so in this video I just want to show you how we reinforce those uh, step footings and the different um, situations that you might find. So this is just a cutaway of a trench and this is a, a trench on a fairly flat block of land so there's not going to be a great need for a lot of steps in this one. So course the steps aren't going to be too deep we can actually run the reinforcement through in a continuous length so I'll go down to a bit closer look so you can see here the maximum slope you can have for this situation is 1 in 10 which is approximately that angle there so 1 unit up and 10 units uh, along and I'll put in the concrete so you can see what you do is you start at the lower end of your block, you come up the depth of your footing, whatever the design depth is, and once you get to a point where you've got enough room left above your footing, you can actually then step up. So we're keeping the top of the footing level while the bottom of the footing is following the slope of the land normally. So this step here in this situation has to be equal to or less than 200 mil, so sort of a maximum of two bricks at a time. Okay, and the minimum depth of our footing is the design depth. Now obviously that's going to be a little bit more, but uh, we just have to wear that. So if we have a, a block of land that slopes a little bit more, you can see this slopes blocks a little bit steeper. We actually want to keep the bottom of our footing level. So it takes a bit of work with the excavator. And because we have deeper steps, well, obviously we can't run continuous lengths of reinforcement through so what we've done here is at each step the reinforcement overlaps and I'll show you here in a second it overlaps by one and a half times the depth of the uh, the depth of the footing so depth of the footing this is from here to here okay one and a half times that depth is our um, our overlap. Of course you've got to allow for your cover on each end as well so that comes off the actual end of the bar. Again our step is equal to or not less than 200 mil. Same situation, different method, so same um, slope. We can do what they call cranked bars. So instead of just overlapping we can actually just bend our bars or crank them. Okay, so cranked is a bend that's not not um, that's less than 90 degrees. So again, one and a half times the depth overlap or of the footings, less than 200 mil step. We can just uh, crank our bars um, over or through that intersection. Now, if it gets steeper, then if we're over 200 mil we have to think about actually cogging our bars or bending them at 90 degrees. So you can see here that top bar has been cogged and the bottom bar has been cogged and then the two ones in the middle here have just been overlapped. I'll show you that. Okay, so in this case our step is greater than 200 mil but it's less than two times the depth of the footing. So you can see there we haven't got, it's not like two footings sitting on top of each other, it's still less than two times the depth. If it was two times the depth of the footing or greater then this would be treated as a column and you'd have to have that structurally designed by a structural engineer. Again your overlaps one and a half times the depth of the footing. Okay so there we go, that's just a quick look at the different methods of reinforcing our stepped footings.